Hi, thanks for joining me today for this Lent devotion. It is Friday in the first week of Lent. My name is Kimberly Todd and I'm the Adult Faith Formation and Small Group Ministry Coordinator at St. Paul. We're using this booklet with your whole heart this season and we're on page 11 today if you'd like to follow along. But before we begin with the words on the page, I'd like to invite you to bring your whole self to this moment. If you'd like, maybe you want to light a candle to represent the presence of Christ with you today. During Lent, there is a focus on repentance, on recognition of our sin. And that can be really heavy. That can be really heavy. And so what I'd like to do first, <laughs> before we talk, about our sin and our right relationships, making relationships right with one another. I'd like to take a moment to center in the love of Christ. And those two things are not exclusive, acknowledgement of our sin and the love of Christ. They actually are intimately connected. And so we settle into the gaze of Christ, the loving gaze of Christ, and we return that gaze back to Christ. And it's in this compassionate and merciful relationship that we are able to bring our sin confidently, which seems like a funny thing to say, courageously to Christ and leave it with him knowing that he has done the work to make things right. We're in Matthew chapter 5, verses 23 and 24. So, when you are offering your gift at the altar, if you remember that your brother or sister has something against you, leave your gift there before the altar and go. First, be reconciled to your brother or sister, and then come and offer your gift. Jonna talked on Wednesday of this week about our spiritual gifts, encouraging us to um, acknowledge what those are and to offer those for the sake of others. And I find it interesting here that we offer our gift for the sake of others. We must be right in relationship with others before that gift can be received. Our reflection says, we love each other, that's for sure, but living, learning, and working with other people is hard. We're all so different. We hurt each other, we make mistakes, we ignore each other, we're selfish. It sometimes seems easier to try to ignore that hurt, but Jesus tells us here in Matthew, we don't get to do that. We can't do that. It's our whole heart we're bringing to him, honest and true. No secrets, no hidden anger. When we take the time as we are now to be honest about our sins before God, it's not just about us alone. We bring our weakness to the Lord and we try to make a habit of making peace with the others we've wronged, to be reconciled. And as St. Paul tells us elsewhere in Ephesians, we strive not even to let the sun go down on our anger. Would you join me in a word of prayer? Jesus, you call us to peace. Help us be honest and reconcile with those we have hurt and who have hurt us. Amen. <laughs>